Florida Congressman Mike Walsh joins us now. Congressman, do you support a ground invasion of Gaza? Because a lot of Democrats don't. Well, Stu, I support Israel's right to eliminate this threat right on their border. And if they determine that eliminating, in order to eliminate uh, Hamas, that they have to go in on the ground, absolutely. Uh, I do think they're being uh, pushed to delay right now by the Biden administration. One, Biden wants to get more humanitarian aid in. Two, we do have five to 600 Palestinian Americans still trapped that ha Hamas is not letting out. And of course, you have the hostage situation to deal with. But I think the bigger issue is uh, we all know once they go in on the ground, Hezbollah is likely to open uh, that front in the north. Uh, Iran will become even more engaged than it already is, and we're having to rush assets in the region. My point is, <laughs> if we had just kept up maximum pressure on Iran in the first place, they wouldn't have had the funds to fund all of this in the first place, and we could keep those assets, those carriers, those missile batteries in the Pacific where they are truly needed. Uh, at the fundamental problem with all of this, the illness uh, with all of this is Iran. And we have got to shift on our Iran policy. Otherwise, Hezbollah, Hamas, all of these other groups, they're just a symptom. They're a tactical problem of the overall strategic issue, which is Iran. Uh, the president plans, I think it's a $105 billion aid package to Israel and Ukraine. What changes would you make to that package? Well, look, the the two existential crises right now are our southern border and helping our ally in Israel, which literally could run out of rockets in the Iron Dome. That should go first. That should go together. That should get signed by the president immediately. Then we have a lot of questions when it comes to Ukraine. We can't just keep throwing money uh, at, at a bad policy here. Uh, and Washington loves to just throw money at an issue without taking a step back, whether it's Iran policy or whether it is uh, you know, how we've settled into a war of attrition and a stalemate in Ukraine. What's the strategy? How long is it going to take? What does winning look like? Uh, is it full expulsion? Is it partial? Is it negotiations? That's what we need to, that's the debate we need to have and we need to determine. Otherwise, I can't support any more, uh, any more aid to Ukraine. Okay. Congressman, we do have a speaker. Mike Johnson has been elected. What, to you, what is job one for the new speaker? Well, job one is we've got to crank out the rest of our appropriations uh, bills. We've got to stop spend this out of control spending that's driving out of control inflation. And coupled with that, as I just mentioned, is the border in Israel. I think those three things uh, are, are you know, uh, front and center on Mike Johnson's plate right now. But I think he's absolutely up to the task. You don't have much time. It's going to be a real rush job, isn't it? No, we lost a month. And, and I, you know, the eight who put us here, uh, I, I, they didn't appear to have a plan. Right. But Mike Johnson's now taking that on his shoulders, and I think he'll lead us out of the wilderness. I believe we've expressed a few sharp-edged opinions on that one in our time, Congressman. Thanks very much for being with us today, sir. Always appreciate it. See you again soon. Thank you. Yes, sir.